sat back and enjoy Hollywood sports entertainment. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hollywood sports. Guys, I want to talk about offensive line ratings. And the reason why I want to talk about these ratings is because, first of all, I want to say thank you for clicking on my video, guys. Thank you so much for coming out and checking out Hollywood Sports. But the reason what enticed me, what motivated me to do this video as far as offensive line, guys, is because the trenches are the most important in Madden, in football, in NFL football. And Sonny Weaver, when he put out this chart on Twitter, guys, uh, when he did the Four, Four Birds podcast, he, he helped me with some stuff. He really helped me give me a different insight about the Washington Redskins offensive line. And what I mean by that, if you look at right down here, I got the arrow pointing at the Washington Redskins right here. Now, on our, our left tackle is uh, Trent Williams. Now, I knew Trent Williams would have a good rating. As you can see, his run block is 87. I hope you guys can see it. And his pass block is 91. Pretty good numbers, guys. But I knew our left guard wouldn't be good. Sean Laveau is our left guard. His run block is 77, and his pass block is 72. And I went, man, we're not gonna have a good rating in Madden. We're not gonna have we're not gonna have a good offensive line uh, in the NFL. When I was looking at looking at the ratings of our offensive line, but now stay with me now. Stay with me. Now you look at our center, Chase Royer. Okay, he has a 75 and a 76. Just average numbers, guys. And I wasn't excited about these numbers. Okay, at right guard, Brandon Scherf. Uh, Brandon Scherf was a great uh, right guard, man. This guy's up and coming, man. This guy's really good when it comes to right guards in the NFL. Um, so he's his pass, run block is 94, which is great. And his pass block is 50, uh, 80. We go to our right tackle, Morgan Moses, guys. It's hard to stay on the right line here. Morgan Moses, I didn't expect his numbers to be that good. I really didn't uh, play a right tackle. Um, normally, he's in the seven. Now he has been getting better in the last few years, but I expected his numbers to also be in the seventies. But I was surprised to see him as a uh, running back. Uh, run block is eighty-one, and his pass block. I'm sorry, yeah, pass block is also eighty-one. So I was kind of shocked at his numbers. But what Sonny Weaver taught me guys and, and brought my focus to and shout out to Sonny Weaver Sonny Weaver guys of the Madden Bomber League Network. Uh, I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put their channel down below. I'm gonna also put the link down for the four pots uh four verts podcast so you guys can always check them out on that on the on the podcast but I'm gonna leave the links down below in the description. Shout out to Sonny Weaver guys. They're running an excellent league at Madden Bomber League so you guys will get those links down in the description. But what he had me to focus on and what he thought was more important was the line average. Your offensive line average. So if you're like me and you're looking at individual um, looking at individual stats as far as run block and pass block, guys, don't do that. Don't do that. Now, what it turns out to be, now, I, what I listed was the top 15 offensive lines in the NFL. Also, well, maybe not the NFL, but hope these ratings are supposed to replicate the NFL. But these ratings are mostly for Madden NFL 19. The top 15 offensive lines and Madden 19. Okay? Now, what I did was to come up with the, the, these numbers. Now, maybe some of you guys already went through all the numbers and you know all the, all the uh, best offensive lines in football. Maybe you don't know all of them. But I'm going to talk about the top 15. But you look at their score, man. Pass block and run block average. Everything has to be done on the average, man. Receptions, um, yards per carry. Uh, everything is done on the average, right? So why wouldn't the offensive line numbers be based on an average, right? As a team, as an offensive line. The offensive line is not just the right tackle or the center. It's, it's everybody. It's the left tackle, the right guard, the center, the right guard, and the right tackle, man. So we got to come up with a, a, a O-line total. And same thing for the defense. Same thing for secondary. Okay? Now, let's talk about it real quick. Now, look at these averages, man. Look at these averages. Now, if we go to the Washington Redskins, it's hard to stay on the right line. You see their run block as an average is 82.8. Man, I'm happy with that number, baby. Run block average as an offensive line? 
Because you got to run over the left tackle. You got to run over the left guard. You got to run at the center sometimes. You got to run at the right guard. You, everybody's position on that line, sometimes you're going to have run plays to go through there. So their run block is 82.8. Man, I'm happy with that, guys. And their pass block is 80. They're in the 80s, guys. And overall, as an offensive line, pass block and run block average is 81.4. Again, shout out to Sonny Weaver, man, for coming up with these averages, man. This is awesome. This is awesome. Putting this chart together like this to bring it all into in a, in a good picture, man. This is awesome. Shout out to Sonny Weaver for doing this, man. This is kind of stuff, man, we, we got in the community, guys. This is the kind of stuff, man. I love it, man. The Mad Bomber League is doing so much, man. They are an example of CFM franchise. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, I'm excited. Now, let's go over... Now, we're going to find out what the Redskins are on this chart, guys. They made the top 15, baby, and I'm excited about that. But in the beginning, when I was looking at individual stats, I wasn't. I wasn't excited. I was like, man, I'm going to have a hard time running with these boys Madden. I'm going to have a hard time running with these boys Madden. Woo! They might have a hard time in the NFL trying to get some wins this year. Dar uh, Darius Geis might have some problems running through some holes. He probably can't. They ain't going to make no holes. He gonna mess around and get hurt trying to create something. But man, I'm excited now about the offensive line. And maybe you guys can have the same experience I had to see when you look at this chart, guys. Again, go uh, the links will be down below. You can go look at this chart, guys. But uh, yeah, man, y'all check it out, man. So look at it as an average. Now let's go. Let's start with number 15. The number 15th best line in Madden NFL 19 is the Indianapolis Colts, guys. They average 79.4. 79.4. Now, we're, we're talking about Andrew Luck playing quarterback, right? Andrew Luck, he needs that protection. Now, 79.4, 15 is right there in the middle, kind of, right? Right there in the middle, guys. So, hey, that's why they rank the 15th best offensive line in Madden 19. Okay, that's the fourth, the fourth, the fourteenth team. It's the Chicago Bears, guys, up here at the top. They're at a 79.5, Chicago Bears. So if you guys' names are in here, man, you ought to be excited. Maybe, you, maybe you'll be shocked like I was. Maybe you're just looking at the individual numbers of the positions. But that's looking at it as an overall, guys, pass block and run block average score. Okay? Now, the number 13 team is the Tennessee Titans at 79.5. The Titans down here. At 79.5, guys, average. Man, that's almost 80, guys. Pretty good. Okay, number 12 is the Los Angeles Rams. Now, this one kind of surprised me. When I looked at the Rams average, guys, at 79.6. The reason why everybody's saying the Rams is going to be tough this year, right? But the offensive line is number 12. Which is still good now. Don't get me wrong. But I, was, I just thought it would be higher than that. Because they're dominant on offense and defense, man. Woo. So, you know, they got a running game. They got a passing game. But I was a little shocked. So, I guess that still is considered a good offensive line, guys. Coming in at number 12. You know, I, we know they got a, a serious defense. So, the Rams are going to be competing uh, when, they, it, it, when they get to the NFL, get to the playoffs, guys. Okay, let's go to number 11, the New Orleans Saints. The New Orleans Saints are at 79.6. Okay, the New Orleans Saints are the 11 best offensive line in Madden 19. Okay, number, not, number 10 is the Cleveland Browns. The Browns up here at 80.3. Now, Cleveland is putting a team together, and everybody thinks Cleveland is going to win some games this year. You know, they can't win a game to save their life, but, man, they're putting it together. Tyrod Taylor, hey, he, he going to get them boys going, man. Tyrod is going to get them boys going. You know, I don't think the rookie quarterback, I can't remember his name, but I don't think the rookie quarterback is going to start right away unless he just wows them in preseason or in practice and all that. But I think Tyrod Taylor is going to start this thing. They got some good receivers. I think the Browns are going to make some noise this year. So it really surprises me that they come in at number 10. Okay, number 9, baby, is my Washington Redskins coming in at 81.4. 
81.4 baby so now you see how my attitude has changed about me being excited before I was looking at the numbers man I was looking at oh left guard ain't that good oh right center ain't that good but if I really break it down guys our right guard is great our right tackle is okay a little bit above average our left tackles are all pro Trent Williams we just got a weakness at left guard and center but hey guys, as an overall guys, we are 84.4, the ninth best offensive line in Madden NFL 19. And let's hope that translates to the NFL also. Alright, coming in at number 8 guys is the Baltimore Ravens. Now they also come in at an 81.4, but I just put them over the Redskins just to put them over the Redskins because I'm just happy where they are. So one spot ain't going to matter to me, so the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, coming in at 81.4. So you uh, Baltimore Ravens out there are looking for some good stuff, man. With Lamar Jackson coming into the fold, man. Well, he's gonna need that protection, guys, as far as run block. But let's look at their let's look at their uh their average run block. The Ravens is 82.6. Pretty good. And yeah, the 80 80.2 pass block. So guys, that's that is really, really good. Now you got their left, their right tackle here as an 88 run block, but only a 79 pass block. So you got to look at them all overall, guys. Look, their right guard is a 76 run block, but 72 pass block. They're not glamorous numbers, guys, but as a whole, now their left tackle, the left tackle is usually the strongest uh, uh, lineman on the line because they have to protect that quarterback, the strong side of the defensive line so they, the left tackle normally takes on the strong side of that defensive line or the outside linebacker right so the Ravens um, left tackle is a 84 run block and a 79 pass block which is pretty good again they're coming in at 81.4 the same as the Washington Redskins all right guys coming in at number seven is the Jacksonville Jaguars coming in at 81.5 the Jaguars coming in at 81.5. Pretty good. All right, guys. Coming in at number six is the New England, New England Patriots at 81.8. Now, I'm trying to keep my, my mouse here so you guys can keep track. Uh, the Patriots are 81.8. Very good numbers, guys. 81.8 is a really good offensive line, the New England Patriots. Coming in at number five, we got the Atlanta Falcons. At 80, 81.9, guys. 81.9. There they go. Just want you guys to see. 81.9. The Atlanta Falcons coming in at number five. Man, we come in at number four with Mr. Gruden. Mr. Gruden taking over those Raiders, man. I think the Raiders going to be good. I love this guy. I love him. I love the Gruden. I love both Gruden. To tell you the truth, right? I love my red skin Gruden. And I love the Oakland Gruden, guys. Coming out of the Monday Night Football booth, I think he's going to do something good. That man knows football. I love watching when he talks, man. They're coming in at 82.5. And you know the Raiders, man, they started out good to, to Carr got hurt. Their quarterback, Carr, got hurt. They kind of fell off a little bit, man. Hopefully they got a nice backup quarterback and they can get that, get that fixed. But Oakland Raiders got some talent, guys. They got some talent. Uh, with Marshawn Lynch coming back into the fold. So the Raiders coming in at number four. Number three, offensive line in Madden NFL 19 is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ooh, now, they having some issues with Le'Veon Bell, but they got Antonio Brown. They got a roster full of talent, guys. Uh, Roethlisberger still hanging on. I, I think he's still strong enough to get the job done. He's obviously a lot smarter. Um, but yeah, the Pittsburgh Steelers still is coming in at number three at an 82.6. 82.6 average on that offensive line. Pass block and run block average. Coming in at number two. We all know this team is always up there when it comes to offensive line. We're talking about the Dallas. Now, I was going to say Dallas Cowboys, but I'm going to respect them. I'm going to respect them. The Dallas Cowboys, not the girls. I want to call them Cowgirls because they're in our division. We got to wipe them out this year. All right? We stole, we, we stole that boy Skandricks. Skandricks. Skandricks going to make some noise. He got a chip on his shoulder in that secondary, baby. All right. Dallas Cowboys are coming in at 86.7, guys. 
And I think three of their linemen is in the top five. I'm not mistaken. They got two or three linemen in the top five. Top five linemen in the NFL, man. And in Madden, I think three of their linemen is on the Cowboys. But, man, we talking about who's the number one offensive line in football. Who's the number one team in football, guys, that got the results? It's the Philadelphia Eagles coming in at number one with the 86.7. The Eagles are coming in at an 86.7. The best in football. The best in NFL Madden 19, guys. The Super Bowl champions. So, guys, my message in this video is don't look at the individual stats. Go to this chart. Look at your average Often look at your average score for run block and pass block. It really makes a difference, guys. And see where you're, if you run in this top 15, see where your team stacks up. And NFL, Madden NFL 19. And I'm hoping this year everybody's not going to just go straight to the best teams all the time. You know, I hope everybody can truly play with their own team. They can build their own team. Um, you know, there's, there's so many missing matches you can put on your depth chart. We got a lot of new depth chart positions. So, Competitive Madden is going to be pretty interesting. CFM is going to be pretty interesting when they when they compete when they design their teams. Man, we talk about archetypes. I think, man, this is going to be nice. This is getting exciting, guys. I'm really excited about the Washington Redskins being the ninth best offensive line at Madden NFL 19. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. But if you're new to the channel, I'm talking to you. If you're new to this channel and you're watching this video, I'm talking to you. Hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports, baby, because there's plenty of room on this team, and we can do it together. You will become a star in Hollywood. All right? So go ahead and get your sunglasses. Get your shades, baby. We are stars here in Hollywood. Hit that subscribe button and become a star. And like I said, we're going we gonna to go to the top. And as always, remember, guys, just get on up. Thanks for watching. Can I count it off? Go ahead. One, two, three, four.